Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now here we are as a part of um, part two of our ram pump versus solar pump, our 12 volt solar pump. And what I want to do is sort of go through the calculations now on how that's going to now deliver and what sort of volumes we have up at the top of the hill here where we want to put our header tank for the stock troughs. Now, we've got our um, spring water collection tank here and that's all full and so what I want to do now is just go through some scenarios of checking out our volumes at the top of the hill with this little pump here now this is not normally the pump that I would normally use we would typically use a Seaflow water pump um, 12 volt uh, solar and I'm still waiting it to turn up in the post I've ordered a new one but in the interim what I've got is this little guy here which is a direct drive um, 12 volt solar pump so a little bit different compared to the diaphragm ones that we use from Seaflow but in saying that it should give us around the same sort of calculations now this one here is stating that it's got a maximum head of 15 meters and a maximum suction of eight so the, the the suction side of things is not going to be a problem because our water source is right here and going up to the top of the hill well it should be around about the sort of same as what we were doing with our ram pump now remembering that the ram pumps work in one in seven so we were two meters down pumping up 14 meters and we were getting I'm thinking just off the top of my head now around about that 750 mil now we want to obviously try and do a little bit better than that but the issue that we had is if you remember back onto the the ram pump itself was the wastage and the wastage was something that i couldn't handle because our inflow into here was a lot less than the wastage and the volume that we we're getting out at the top of um, our test phase at the top of the hose so we, we need a closed system if effectively so what I want to do is, I've hooked up the delivery pipe, I've just got to now hook up the inlet and away we go from there. So I'll get a few things sorted out, I'll come and find you and I'll see you soon. Alright, so here we are and I've just got to, I've got to use the selfie stick, um, it's just causing me all sorts of dramas. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll battle through this. Now what we've got here is I've put in the delivery pipe um, going into our little pump here. And I've just got a little battery um, that I'm going to be using. Now, I've charged this one up overnight. And um, so hopefully we've got enough charge to do what we need to do and check out our delivery up the top of the hill there. Now, like I was saying, look, this is all very test phase beat, number beta. And um, I've got leaks everywhere and everything else. So what we need to do is just have a look at what we're doing to make sure that this is going to work for us because we don't we won't have enough suction up the top of the hill we know that that's close to a well, the top of the tank will be 14 meters so what's that that's they're about one point or let's call it two so that makes us um, around about 12 meters so the suctions on either this guy or the seaflow pump itself we're not going to have enough to siphon up or suction um, suction up to the top of that so we're going to have to set up a pump house down here and then run a cable back down because we're in the goat paddock um, we've got lots of shade going on and we want to maximize the sun so we'll have to put a like a, a solar hut up at the top there in the paddock and then run some cables down so and then that will then give it the feed that we need so all right now um, I'm just going to quickly check to see what we're dealing with All right, so the pumps, the pump can kick on, so that's all cool. What I'll do is I'll get this um, set up and um, I'll connect the, the, the cable permanently onto that battery and um, we'll go up top and we'll find our measuring jug and um, we'll check what sort of volumes we're dealing with. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much on a winner here in this way. Like I said, we can maximize 100% of that, that water that we're capturing. So effectively, you know, we can call this a closed system, closed water system. All right, let me get a few things organized and I'll see you soon. 
All right, so here we are, and check it out. Oh my God. So this is our 14 meter mark. And so this 14 meter mark represents the top inlet of our um, header tank to feed the stock troughs on this side of um, Fat Cow Farm. Now I could already tell you with the flow that we have is that this, that's going to be quite high. Now I've got my measuring cup here. So what we'll do is we'll do a measure. Two, one, go. Yes, all right, so we've got a, a full cup every five seconds. So that's, um, what are we dealing with there? 12, 12 litres a, a minute. All right, so that is already telling me that I've got more coming out than I do coming into our um, spring water storage collection. Now, when you compare the ram pump to a solar pump, I mean, there, there's they're two different separate systems so like we were looking before is that the ram pump you know no power free pumping of water and everything else and i think that you know ram pumps certainly have a place but the wastage was too high for what we had um down at the storage tank okay we well, you know we need to run a pump now a 12 volt solar pump and a closed water system you know and getting 12 liters a minute and that's perfect for what you know what we want to do also means that you know I'm going to only be running for around about an hour a day um, for filling up the, the stock drop and what am I looking at there so that's about 144 little it might, it might mean that it, we need a little bit more than that depending on the stocks need so we'll, we'll have to manage that sort of scenario look it might be that we run an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon and allow the um, the batteries to recharge via the solar and what we were talking about before is setting up a, a solar hut here just behind me um, sort of in this sun pretty much where we're going to be putting the um, the water tank or the, the, the stock trough so oh sorry the header tank oh, God. Um, so you know look there's a few things that we need to get um, sorted out and I'll also sort of need to work out what sort of voltage drop I'm going to be looking at to go back to feed that pump down there, you know, what's that, 15 metres away. So maybe it's not a, an issue, but we'll certainly oversize those cables um, so that the, the, the voltage drop is basically zero. So there you go. Look, you know, in, in like I was saying before, in my mind, that, you know, we're dealing with a closed water system. Th there's a time and a place. And I think that unfortunately what we have here at, um, at Fat Cow Farm with the need for more direct water and, and less wastage. I think that we're really going to be dealing with 12 volt solar pumps rather than a ram pump. I'm pretty keen to use the ram pump. I've just got to find a, a, a situation where I can use it. But anyway, look, you know, I just thought this is part two. So like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.